It's a great question. From people didn't hear. Um, uh, out in Geneva, about about 45 miles due east of here, um, right off of I-90, there's a place called Spire Institute that's being built. Some of you may have may have seen it. It was called Great for a little while. They just changed the name to Spire. Um, it will be, bar none, one of the, and it's it already is one of the finest sports facilities in the world. Um, it is. It, it, uh, uh, it's. It's. There's a gentleman by the name of Ron Clutter, uh, uh, a businessman who created a nonprofit. He's from Geneva, and it was his dream to have this out there. Um, and th they've already spent over sixty million dollars, um, and there's a lot more underway. In fact, they're they're going to have a grand opening later this month for their new um, uh, their new aquatics facility, which will have five different pools. It is. And I'll tell you, their track facility is. Is many people say now is the finest indoor and outdoor track facility in the world. Um, we're, we're hosting the NCAA men's and women's championship there and some others. Um, but I'll tell you this, it's, it's very interesting. It is a phenomenal facility and we work, uh, Ron Clutter is on our board and we work very closely with them. But it's, it's a little bit of a quandary. It's in some cases, the facility is phenomenal and, and, um, and, and events will very naturally fit out there. In some cases, the, the one difficult part is it's it's a little bit removed from Cleveland, and I mean it's 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 45 miles. It's all freeway, but there's there's not a lot of additional infrastructure. The hotel rooms out there is is it's it there's there's not a, a big cluster out there. There's not yet quite a lot to see and do right there. Um, so we we've wrestled a little bit, of, quite frankly, as an organization and, and working with them. What kind of policies do we create? Because we're, we're we think we're a very regional thinking organization. And, and we host we host a big USA Wrestling event every year in Akron because the, the field house at the University of Akron is the perfect fit for that event. And we really look for where something fits the best. More often than not, it's right here in downtown because of because of the facilities, the hotels, the amenities. Um, but but there are times where where you know you can look at at an event like the U.S. Masters uh, Track and Field Championships. It very easily could have been out there, but we held it at Baldwin Wallace. Now we, we bid on the event prior to, to Spire opening, but an event like that comes around again, it's, it's so, so um, it's phenomenal. It will bring a lot of new events to town. The, the um, uh, uh, Big Ten, they're hosting, as I mentioned, their, their men's and women outdoor track and field championships there um, in 13 and 14. The reason they chose it is it's the only track facility in the country that can host both men and women simultaneously. It has that many lanes. It has double of everything. Uh, uh, you know, twice the number of, of jumping pits and, and throwing lanes, everything you need. So that event would not be would not be in Northeast Ohio otherwise. But there's going to be others that could fit at Spire at their pool, or it could fit at Cleveland State. And and um, so um, I, I will tell you, it's it's phenomenal. It's here, but I think in many of us are still wrestling with and will for a long time. What's the where does the facility best fit within the context of of all the facilities we have in the community? Yeah, it's interesting you say that. It is absolutely part of their their plan. Um, they have they have um, they are actively seeking a hotel operator to build a hotel. Um, and it's there's there's a and if, if any of you ever drive up Erie um, or drive up 90 through Erie, there, there's a um, right near the, the Erie exits. You get this area of five or six limited service hotels altogether, and those those are there because there was a church who built a complex called Family First, this huge soccer complex of, I don't know, 10 or 12 fields. And they started hosting many, many, many tournaments and events, and those hotels sprouted up because this Family First opened. Um, so you could absolutely see that happening. But I'll tell you one interesting thing. With part of the business plan with Spire is that they've brought in some of the top people in the country, some of the top former IMG folks from Cleveland, uh, the guy who ran the IMG Academies down in Bradenton, Florida. And they are they are going to be building dorms, and part of their business model is, they, I don't they're not going to survive on weekend tournaments and and uh, um, you know a, 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 you know a soccer club coming to use use the indoor facility for an hour for practice. They 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 want to build um, they're building they, they're going to build a residential um, facility, and they're taking some less traditional sports like track and field, lacrosse that ha that don't have academies anywhere in the country. And, and they are going to build um, uh, residential 
sports campuses there. So Michael Johnson, for instance, a famous track athlete, he's already put his name on the track facility. And so it'll be the Michael Johnson Track Academy, and they're going to track kids from all over the country who are aspiring, especially to get college scholarships or run in the Olympics, to live there. They cut a deal. They just cut a deal with the Geneva. School. I don't even know if this has been announced. I think it was. So, um, <laughs> but they, they've cut a deal with the Geneva schools, where um, the academy kids will get. To, they will have use of the schools um, after hours. Um, so instead of they were thinking of building a school. Instead of building a school, they're going to use the Geneva schools, which Geneva High School, one mile away. And those kids will do their classroom work after the Geneva kids have left. And the quid pro quo is they're building, instead of right at Spire, one mile away, they're going to build 10 to 12 outdoor soccer fields and baseball fields using the Geneva High School property. So it's, it's, it's an absolute win-win. And, and, uh, uh, but, but the good news, I think they're thinking much bigger and broader in terms of, of their business model um, for how they, how they really make the place work financially.